and welcome back to the next chapter of Pandas Library. Introduction to Python Pandas. An important step for any data scientist is to prepare and clean the data so that it could be used later for deeper analysis. The powerful machine learning and the glamorous visualization to may get all the attention, but the Pandas is the backbone of most data projects. Now the library Pandas is one such package that makes life easier, especially for data analysis through its extensive inbuilt functions for manipulation and visualization. Benefits of Pandas Data representation which represents the data in a form that is suited for data analysis to its data frame and series. Clear code The clear API of the Pandas allows you you to focus on the core part of the code. So it provides clear and concise code for the user. So let's move on to the coding part. So now, as you can see here, we have import pandas as PD. This is our library that we're going to be working on in this course. Import pandas as PD, we're going to create an empty data frame called empty data PD dot data frame. D and F should always be capital, and it can also be used as variables. Now we're going to print it, and let's check out the output. As you can see, we have an empty data frame, so nothing's going to be stored in it. If we move on to the next code, we're going to import it again and create a dictionary detail. Detail is going to be name with Ramesh, Kiran, Ruby, and contact is going to be these numbers. You can add any numbers of your own. Now you can create a data frame using the dictionary and print it. So df is equal to pd.dataframe detail and print df. When we run this code as well, we have our output. If you're wondering which side I am on, I'm on Google Collaborate. Now here, we're going to read files. We're going to import the library and read CSV. So we have our CSV file here. This is one simple way to import it or read the file. Then we can print it after we stored it in DF. We can print it with no header value. So header, you just have to write header is equal to none. Then we can do it and we have a printed without a header and a column name. If you want columns, then you can just write at the end, names, ID, name, number of years, salary, number of leads. Then you can just print it. I'll show you what I mean just right now. So as you can see, this is number one, one to five, which is a simple one. This is number two, which is also a simple one, but as you can see, it has a header. Now, here is the columns that we have. So we have name Aman, here's number of two, ten, and number of leaf Mary got ten. If you want to create a graph on it, then you actually can. Now import library. Now we're gonna import pandas and read an Excel file. If you have anything else in the CSV file, then and there's an Excel and a JSON, JSON file, then you can just use this method. Read Excel file, and here we can just write read Johnson file. So as you can see, it read easily. If we run this one, it also read, read easily. Now here there are some more functions that we have. So after importing the library and reading the file, we have head, means the top 10 rows of the data set will be printed. Shape, means the number of rows or columns. Describe, means how many columns are there. And you know, now we're going to check the no values. Is no dot sum. To check if there's any zero values. If there are, then how many? If we run this code over here, as you can see, Everything will be printed. The top 10 rows, this columns, and yes, 
No, I think the D type is in teacher 64. Now our last code is just to calculate. So we're gonna calculate the total number of TF target n unique and print the total number, total number. So we're gonna calculate it. Now we're gonna calculate the count variables, count df target, count value count. So what they are trying to say here, that in our data set, we had total number and count. So we're just calculating it. And as you can see, we got this output. So I guess I'll be seeing you in my next video. Toodaloo.